This is how to install Cyanogen Mod 12 Lollipop on a T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S2. Now, this is the T-Mobile variant of the device, model SGH-T989, and this method will only work on this device. So to begin the installation, if you already have a custom ROM on the device, as I do, I have Cyanogen Mod 11 currently installed, um, you'll be good to go for the rest of these steps. However, if you are currently still running stock, you will need to follow the instructions in my first video on how to install Cyanogen Mod 11, 11 on this device to install Clockwork Mod Recovery. So once you've gotten Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, you can follow the rest of this video to get Cyanogen Mod 12 installed. So, the first thing you need to do is go over to your computer and head over to this site. Um, this is the official, or this is the uh, Sanogen Mod 12 uh, XDA developers thread for this device. Um, now, the uh, ROM isn't 100% functional on this device yet. Uh, it just has some uh, interesting issues down here. I'm not really sure what these issues do except for the locking up one but I think at this point you can run this ROM as your main OS on your uh, phone so yeah so the first thing you're going to need to do is download both the ROM and Google Apps files which I have right there but before you install any ROM zip you'll need to follow these instructions down here to repartition your device or virtually repartition your device um, I'll be explaining how to do that in this video. Um, so you'll need to download... You, you won't need this if you're not currently running Synergy Mod 12, so just ignore this. Uh, you'll need this latest official version of TWRP Recovery and this newest version of uh, the poster of this thread's uh, custom version of TWRP Recovery. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and plug your device while powered up into normal uh, operating mode into your computer. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so the device is plugged in. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, Enable USB storage if it gives me the option. Hold on one second, let me get USB storage to mount. Alright, so once you've gotten the device connected to the computer in USB storage mode, now, on the ROM I was running, USB storage mode actually would not work. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, I think it's just some glitch with the, with the Sandage Mod 11 ROM. However, I decided to just use a external micro SD card, which I have inserted into my computer right now, to put the files on. And I would actually recommend that because during these steps, your SD card, uh, your internal SD card will be erased. So. If you have anything on there you need to keep, uh, you'll need to back that up right now, so please do that. So anyway, on your SD card, I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder called uh, SanjaMod12, or CM12, and that's where I'll be putting all the stuff we'll need. So before, you, uh, before the internal SD card is erased, you'll need to copy over this zip file right here, the latest version of TWRP Recovery, which you would have downloaded from uh, here. So you can go ahead and copy that over to the SD card. So once that's copied over, you can go ahead and close it and remove your micro SD card from your computer, as I've done. It's right here. Or uh, disconnect your device from USB storage if that's what you're doing. And go ahead and insert a micro SD card if you used one into your device. All right.
Alright, so the SD card is now inserted, and now I'm just going to go ahead and reboot my device into recovery mode. So I'm going to hold down the two buttons and power. By the way, to boot into recovery, you hold down both the volume up and volume down buttons and the power button until you see the Samsung logo. And it'll boot right into recovery mode, as you can see. So what you're going to want to do now is... Um, what you're going to want to do now is uh, scroll down to uh, install zip. Uh, choose zip from storage SD card 1 in my case because that's my external SD card. If you used your internal SD card, you will select storage SD card 0. Let's go into that. Um, I'm going to go up to my Synergy Mod 12 folder that I made. And I'm going to flash the TWRP recovery zip. Alright, and once that's finished, you're going to want to go back and go to advanced and um, go to reboot recovery and that will reboot you right into the newly installed TWRP recovery you can see it is loading right now Alright, so as you can see, recovery mode now looks quite a bit different, and it actually is touch enabled at this point. So, what you're going to want to do is go to wipe, which is right there. You're going to want to go to advanced wipe, uh, select internal SD card, um, and change. Let me see here. Yeah, so internal SD card and select repair or change file system. And then select change file system. Select ext4 and swipe to change. Now keep in mind at this point everything on your SD card will be erased. So. wait for that to finish and it is now done so now what you're going to want to do is go back I just head back now what you're going to want to do is select mount and select mount USB storage Now what you're going to want to do is connect your device to USB. I want to put the camera down to do that. Alright, so you can see my device is now connected to USB. And pretty soon, um, I should get device mounted on my computer. Okay, so if this doesn't work, which it doesn't appear that it has... Alright, well I'm just going to uh, plug my micro SD card back into my computer and just do it that way, it'll be easier. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open the card. I'm going to head into my Sanity Mod 12 folder and copy the Sultan uh, TWRP 
uh, recovery file. And I'll copy the ROM and GF zip as well. So we'll need those in the next step. So I'm going to wait for this to copy and I'll resume the video once it is finished. Alright, so once you've gotten everything copied over to your SD card, you can go ahead and close it and remove it from your computer and reinstall it to the phone. Okay, so once you've gotten the new version of TWRP Recovery installed, you can go ahead and install it. It doesn't see my SD card yet. Okay, so if, if it doesn't see your SD card as it seems to be doing for me, just go ahead and click Reboot and Recovery. And then I'll just reboot Recovery Mode. So once you're here, you want to go to Install. Uh, select the micro SD card, your external micro SD card. Uh, scroll down to your Synergy Mod 12 folder and install the Sultan TWRP recovery and swipe to flash. Okay, now go back, uh, reboot, and reboot recovery once again. Once you have rebooted back into recovery, you can go back to install, uh, select your micro SD card once again, uh, and now scroll down to your Sanogen Mod 12 folder, and we will finally be able to flash the Sanogen Mod 12 ROM. So select it, and actually at this point you can add more zips as well and do the G app at the same time. So we'll go ahead and swipe to flash. And just wait. Alright, sorry about that. My uh, phone actually ran out of space while I was recording the video, so yeah, stopped recording. But anyway, the flashing has finished. Uh, so now we can just go ahead and select Reboot System. And it should boot into Synergy Mod 12. And it appears to be doing so. It will take quite some time to boot the first time, so be aware of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video and resume it once the device has finished booting. So I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see the device has finished booting and it is currently running through uh, the app optimization process for the G-Apps package that we installed. So we'll just go ahead and wait for that to finish. And once it does, we should be able to uh, use a fully functional copy of Synergen Mod 12.
I may just resume the video when this completes. Alright, the device has just finished booting up and I have completed the first time setup and we are now running Lollipop on this device. Let's go ahead into about phone. You can see we are running Android version 5.0.2. If we rapidly tap on that, we get the Lollipop Easter egg. Not sure if you can do anything else with this, but oh yeah, the Flappy Bird game, that's right. Anyway, that is the Lollipop Easter Egg. And as you can see, the device runs perfectly. So let's see if developer options are enabled. Okay, no, they're not. So to enable develop to enable development options, you go to about phone, scroll down to build number, and just tap it. As you can see, we have now enabled development settings. So we can now go into the performance tab, go to processor, and we can now overclock the CPU. So I go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll just overclock it to 1728 megahertz. So, yeah. As you can see, the device runs perfectly fine, no slowdowns or anything. So yes, this is CyanogenMod 12 running on a T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S2. Hope you enjoyed this video.